Hey YouTube community, I'm Lexi and I am here to talk to you about the film Lucy. I went to the movie theaters at AMC today and I'm going to talk about it. Don't worry, there's no spoilers. Okay, so the movie I thought was pretty good. It had a lot of action. And at first, I didn't like Scarlett Johansson in any of her movies, but since Iron Man and the Avengers, I kind of grew to like her in the action role. So I think she does a lot better in that, and I think she was really good in the movie. Um, I don't know if it got that good reviews, but I know there was a similar movie where there was a male playing it. I forget the actor's name. But he was, it was like 100 or something like that, like where he accessed 100% of his brain. But I think it was a little a bit different. This is like a drug ring and stuff like that. And they try to, you know, make her a drug mule and put the drugs in her and it leaks. And then that's why she can access like working up to 100%. Yeah, I thought it was really good. The ending was good. You know, all of it overall. I want to say, though, first, I was tweeting and Facebook and Instagramming all about it. But uh, at first, I couldn't go in. Got the ticket. Couldn't go in. Um, this guy, who was probably younger than me, was like, uh, ID, please? And I'm just like, <laughs> wait. You're, you're serious, right? And, yeah, so, I'm like, I have a university sweater. I'm 26. I'm, like, looking at the thing, like, oh, it's R-rated, like, okay, I'm 26. And he's like, before he, before I even said that, I was just like, really? And he's like, well, anyone who's, like, under 25, and I'm like, I'm 26. <laughs> like, we're supposed to look at anyone who looks under 25. And I'm like, okay. Uh, but yeah, and I was like, I don't have ID on me. I didn't have. And so I was like, I'll get my parents to come over. So I went back to where my parents were. And they walked over. And they're like, she's 26. <laughs> Yeah, the, I mean, do I look that young? I mean, um, don't answer that. Oh, I mean, I get it all the time. People think I'm in high school and I'm like, I have a master's. Ugh. You know, first world problems, hashtag. I was like, this is why I can't find a job because people don't take me seriously. They don't think I can run a business. And when I look like I shouldn't even be able to allow to be working uh yeah so you know it happens at least once a week people are like are you do you need your parents signature or you know with co-signing or you know whatever it is like do you have an ID I'm like yes here like, I've been able to drive for, like, 10 years now. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's annoying. I know when I was in college, like, 18, 19, uh, they asked me for my ID, uh, and I was like, it's PG-13, not R. And they're like, yeah. I'm like, first off, thinking... Since when do people card for PG-13? I mean, does anyone who's 13 actually even have an ID? I mean, I guess now, like, with security and stuff like that, a lot of, like, high schools and stuff, like, will have, like, IDs. I didn't when I was growing up, but, like, I know my school now does do that. They actually have to, like, have it on them. But, I mean, that just says that you're in high school. So, I mean, that says, like, you could be, like, 14, 15 minimum unless you're, you know, like, advanced or whatever and stuff like that. Like, I have a friend who was 
I think, well, she was 16 when she was in college, so she was probably 12, um, in high school starting, so she technically could have probably gotten in then, um, but yeah, so it's like, how are kids supposed to prove that they're not, but I'm like, really? I'm 19, and you think I'm 12? Like, I get now, like, that I look like high school, because you don't change, I mean, you do, but like, you know, you're kind of like at that height, like height I always had going for me since I'm 5'7", so it's like people thought I would be older just because I was taller, but now, like, high school, everybody stopped growing, well most people I still grow, but, uh, yeah, so, but anyway, getting back to the R-rated thing, my dad was like, I don't see why this was rated R. And I didn't see, see like, what made it that. And I'm like, really? Because <laughs> there was a lot of violence, lots of death, and kind of, like, a little bit of sex. But not, not really. Um, not really in the way that you think. But, um, yeah, so I'm like, it kind of definitely was R-rated. It just, like because of the situation like I don't want to spoil anything but just because of the situation like it just didn't seem that I don't know it made it seem like very like me like they're not really people like you know it was kind of just whatever so the death it wasn't like really like dramatic scenes it was action so it was kind of just like people probably died but I didn't really see them like die <laughs> Um, and, but then the other things you do. It was overall, I thought it was really good. I suggest you all watch it and tell me how you think about it. And yeah, I hope you have a good rest of the weekend. Let's out. Bye.